Oh, these. My baggies. My massive mucking satchels. My super stuffed pouches. My honker bonker baggy waggies. My canvas stretching loot containing gravity welling loot bags. You mean these super duper ultra hyper god dang 32 slot mucking bags? You click this link because you want some big girthy bags. If you want bag tips and tricks, get out of here. Go watch that video because you aren't ready for this one yet. This is the Coupe de Gracie of satchels, the 32 slot bag. There are many ways to get 32 slot bags and almost all of them expensive, but some are far better and cheaper than others. For your first one, go to the Sandswept Isles from Living World Season 4, Episode 2, A Bug in the System. Find this brat named Effie on the Sandswept Isles and help him with his chain of quests to get a nearly free 20 slot bag, which will then be upgraded to 24, 28, then 32 slots as you knock out his grocery list. When you get the 32 slot bag to reinforce Elmacon Bandolier, you will also get a recipe to make more. Except we're never going to do nope. that because it's too muckin' expensive. We're out of here. A full walkthrough of this kid's chores is in the description. After that, the next bags you want are the reinforced boreal trunks. To get the recipe, work on the Master of the Ancestral Forge achievement. You need to acquire many of the restored boreal weapons. You can buy them or make them. You will get the recipes for the 20, 24, 28, and 32 slot boreal bags while doing this. The most expensive part of any 32 slot bag, no matter the route you go, is the supreme runes of holding you will most likely need to buy off the trading post. Because of this, each finished 32 slot bag is usually over 100 gold to craft, but you can use these recipes to make a whole bunch of 20 slots, then up them all to 24s, then all to 28s, and so on over time as you are able. Aside from that, you will need a bunch of eatrite ingots and eternal ice shards. Here's how you can get hundreds per day for minimal effort. There are three large chests in Biora you can park alts at. Once a day, log in, open box, get a ton of stuff including eatrite and ice shards and log out. 10 seconds per character, you park easy. Here's the first box and its location. The second box and its location. If you have Mesmer Portal or a Prototype Position Rewinder, you can also jump down, open two more boxes, and then rewind to get more easy loot in seconds. And the third box in its location. If you are willing to spend a steep 30 to 60 seconds on this character and have a portal or rewinder, you can open all of these boxes. If you don't know what a rewinder is, I've got a guide for that. Link is in the description. Opening the boxes gets you a lot of lazy Eotrite and Ice Shards each day. If you fancy throwing strike missions into the equation as well, which takes 30 minutes or less to do the three easiest ones, you can get hundreds of shards per day. If you do all six strikes, not counting the tank escort one that takes nine years, and you open the lazy boxes, you can get close to 500 Ice Shards per day. All of this combined with getting max bag slots on a character results in 320 inventory space in the cheapest way currently possible. Now you know how to get a dummy thick backpack. You're welcome. Click these links. Especially that one. I have two channels. Let me change that. Oh my god, this deer. Are you serious, deer? I will kill you. But this freaking deer. I swear to god. I will kill you, deer.